All across Northeast Ohio, there's a push to land more high-tech 21st century jobs. But right now, experts say our region's dealing with a drought. Latest proof? Apple's last expansion created 20,000 jobs nationwide, but yet again, Cleveland did not make the cut. We need to be thinking about future needs, and a lot of times I think policymakers in Ohio kind of want to go with the same old tired approach. So, what can this city do to attract companies like Amazon and Apple? Live on your side, investigator Joe Paganakis went in search of answers, and Joe, you've learned education is the key. And Rob, so is improving green infrastructure, public transit, and Northeast Ohio's commitment to renewable energy. When you look at all of the places that have gotten new high-tech jobs, they all have higher rates of college attainment. Amy Hanauer, Executive Director of Policy Matters Ohio, pointing to Apple's announcement last week. The high-tech giant adding thousands of new jobs in Austin, Seattle, San Diego, Boulder, Colorado. Northeast Ohio, though, not on the list. These are states that are making it easier for kids to afford college, and it's paying off for them. Hanauer believes it's critical Northeast Ohio invest heavily in education and growing our young people to better attract new high-tech jobs to Cleveland. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh also on the list to get hundreds of new Apple jobs over the next four years. So why them and not us? Pittsburgh is much more accessible. It's much denser, you know, in Ohio and in Cleveland, we've really focused on sprawl and we've sort of let parts of the city deteriorate. Pittsburgh started a bit earlier in terms of uh, reconfiguring their uh, economic base. But Professor Roland Anglin, Dean of the Cleveland State College of Urban Affairs, says Northeast Ohio is finally starting to turn the corner with some young high-tech startups. Well, of course I'm disappointed because I want to see this community grow. But I also know it's a process. Anglin says changes in creating a more high-tech curriculum in Northeast Ohio schools is key. Uh, exposing them to coding, exposing them to the multiple opportunities in the tech sector. Meanwhile, Hanauer believes a greater commitment to green infrastructure, public transit, and renewable energy will also help to attract new high-tech jobs. Bring things back to the center, make the jobs transit accessible, invest in green, and really invest in our workforce education, really from cradle to career. And Hanauer says it's also critical that broadband internet access be available in all Northeast Ohio communities as a key educational tool in helping to bridge the tech job gap right here in our area. Reporting live here in Cleveland, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.